happy new month everybody welcome to the month of august it is my prayer that it will be a month filled with favor with joy with divine peace and god's unlimited mercy for each and every one of us in jesus name it is a new month and i just want to encourage all of us it's been a long year and we thank god for bringing us to the eighth month in the year but i just wanted to make sure that we are not on the verge of giving in or of giving up you know a, a lot has happened in our lives we cannot ignore the fact that there is a pandemic going on that has affected the whole world and not just specific countries but the entire earth really has been affected by this pandemic and all the complications health financial and so on that come along with it and i'm aware that a lot of us are tired exhausted a lot of the plants we've uh, developed for the year 2020 has not been accomplished or has been put on pause or we can't pursue after it the way we, we planned we would and that's okay it's okay to feel tired it's okay to be frustrated and ex exhausted you're you know we are humans and it's simply a human reaction but i also don't want us to get to a place where we are stuck there where we are so tired we are giving up as children of god it is really important that we always remember that no matter what we are going through that god is going to be with us regardless of the fires we're going through the storm that is raging all around us that god is always going to be with us god always has a plan it is important that we remember that he knew today would be on the day he said let there be light remember he's the god who knew the ending at the beginning even before the beginning began god knew the ending you know so he knew about today he knew about the challenges and it is important that in all that we do especially in this moment we are passing through that we rely on god we cast our cares upon him and just depend on him even as the year you know before you know it we'll be saying happy thanksgiving and merry christmas and next thing you know it's the year 2021 and so giving up even though it's it's almost the end of the year it's getting to the end of the year we cannot give up now because there are still a few months left and whatever we do now can also serve as a building block of what is going to happen in the future so i just want to leave us with two things to remember in this month of august first of all god is the burden bearer or the heavy load share i love to call him my heavy load share because sometimes it feels as if my whole world is collapsing and the weight of it is heavy on my shoulders sometimes it feels like i can't breathe for the pain of whatever it is i'm passing through and there are times when it feels as if my mind is dominated by and my spirit is filled with nothing but my troubles but in those moments i have since learned to kind of go to god i tell him i'm i am all of this is yours you know you told me i can cast my cares upon you well here it is here they are because i can't deal with it i can't i can't handle it anymore i don't ever want to be so weighed down by my troubles that i lose my relationship with you so here you go and oftentimes i always get people asking well what does it mean to cast your cares on god or how do i cast my cares upon god for me it's meaning me from my spirit and saying to god here they are and i am never shy i always say this i am never shy when i'm talking to god first of all he knows my thoughts already so i am just speaking aloud what he already knows um, i'm going to i'm probably going to do another episode of the importance of speaking aloud because when you speak aloud our words have power so when you speak aloud you're not just speaking only to god but to the things around you to your spirit to your mind so that you you hear everything around you everything within you hears and those words carry power so when i am speaking aloud and telling god this is everything i've got and i cannot handle it 
I literally leave it there, meaning that when worry bubbles up in my mind about whatever the trouble is, I just I do something else to distract me or I rebuke that thought because I cannot be worried about something that's not my problem anymore. Think about it. God already, uh, I've given it to God, said, give me this problem, I'll take care of it. I've given it to God. And then I'm still worrying about it, losing sleep over it, getting getting my BP all raised for an issue that's no longer mine. When you tell God, step into this situation or take whatever this is, he's in control. It's his now. It belongs to him in his time, however he wants. He can get to the ending, but frankly speaking, I'm not going to be bothered with it. Now, it does not mean... If it's something where um, I need to do some work on my own, but I'm not going to do it. Let me give an example. For example, weight loss. If it's something I've, you've struggled with, it's something I am struggling with. And there have been times when it's giving me sleepless nights because like, no matter what I try, nothing is happening. I've spent a lot of money on the issue. I've worried and thought about it. And I just got to a point where I'm like, okay, God, I'm trying. I'm doing the best I know how to do. And this isn't working out. So here you go. This I'm casting it up. Here you go. It's now yours to deal with. You figure it out. Because I don't know what else to do. But that doesn't mean I stop working out. It doesn't mean I stop eating healthy. I still do my own part. And then whatever the result is, just let it be. I'm no longer worrying about it. I'm not losing sleep over it. And so that's what I mean. When you cast your cares upon God, you don't worry about it anymore. You don't uh, um, lose sleep over it anymore. You also do not allow people to make you start worrying about it. Because that happens to us a lot of times. Whenever you've, you're suddenly at peace in a situation in the middle of a storm, you always have that one voice that's coming to shake you. Wow, how can you be so calm when such, such, and such is going on with you? Or how can you be at peace when so on and so forth is going on? First of all, you need to cut that voice off. And if there's somebody that is really close to you, perhaps they don't know the God you serve. It's an opportunity for you to tell them, I'm at peace because I know someone you clearly do not know. In a way, you clearly don't know him. So, just um, cast your cares on God. Let him share that heavy load. Let him carry that burden. He didn't even say, I'll take half, you keep half. He said, give me everything. And so, cast your burden, whatever it is that has, actually, that has been amplified in this year with the lockdowns and the economic slowdowns and the so on and so forth whatever it is cast it to god and let him take control of it the second thing i was going to tell us was to never give up you do not give up first and foremost we are sons and daughters of the most high god the god who created the whole earth how can we serve a father who has the earth under his control and then we are giving up in situations this should be our earth to control this should be this should be our our space we should hold dominion over everything in our lives now it doesn't come easy there is always a fight and a struggle and there is a fight and a struggle because the enemy knows what is on the other end of it that it is defeat and it is your glory and your upliftment and he's going to batter you every step of the way and that is why you never give up because you already know the end of the story you know the end of the story is whatever is good for you the end of the story is success in everything you do the end of the story is victory over that battle you know when god says um i know the thoughts i, I think of you and the plans i have for you you already know the end of the story you already know it what or what we are going through now is just the middle how quickly it, it's a matter of god's timing to get to the end of that situation it's a matter of what we learn during this process, during this time, the middle of the story. You know, every every situation started at the beginning of time when God created the earth. It started with Jesus giving his life for us and salvation became ours. 
the ending of it is it, success it's, it's having children it's joy and ultimately go, going back and being with god when he comes to collect his own everything else is just the middle of the story and since you already know the ending is a pleasant one all the many battles we are fighting the ending is a pleasant one it's a victorious one it's a successful one for us you never give up we never allow the enemy to make you give up besides god is a rewarder of the persistent this sunday at church um the pastor preached a bible verse that oh some it, just it was amazing because i had had this topic in mind and then when he read that bible verse it just it tied in so well and it's the story of isaac <coughs> in genesis 26 from 18 to 25 where he went back to where his father had previously his father abraham had previously dug a well and you know for those of us who've never dug a well look it up it is a lot of work to dig so deep to where you get water that can fill a well that can constantly fill a well clean water or that you can scoop up and use for whatever it is you need to use it for and so he had done the hard work dug a well and then all of a sudden men in the area came and said oh that's ours and he didn't fight with them he left he went somewhere else and started the process all over again and dug another well and then he had succeeded and they rolled by again well that's ours and they were going to fight him over it and he let them go and it happened maybe three or four times and i will not lie when i there have been times when i've read that passage and in real life i it is questionable if i will be as calm as isaac was in handling that situation and letting them go you know but he did and i always pray for the for the grace to always know sometimes when to give up certain things without a fight and let God handle the situation. There are times when you need to fight for whatever, I don't mean physically fighting, coming to blows, but be tenacious and not let go. But there are situations where we need to be like Isaac and just let it go and move on and start again. But he did it three or four times and the last time God appeared to Isaac renewed a prosperity covenant with isaac he remembered the promise he had with abraham and he renewed that covenant or that promise with isaac and finally isaac dug him a well called it um i believe that was rehoboth where god is like god has made space for me and he has caused me to be fruitful and he finally got here and those men never came around to fight him for it again so imagine if isaac had given up he would never have had that encounter with God, that covenant renewal. He finally got him as well. God's space, got an area where he, he was fruitful. What if all those other places where he was digging for the well were too small to contain the blessing that was coming? What if there was danger there that would have harmed or stifled his fruitfulness? And those people, they might have thought, you know, they were punishing him or, or causing him to be aggrieved. And somehow, he, because he never gave up, he finally got somewhere where God said, Okay, I am going to cause your descendants to be many. And Isaac experienced fruitfulness, probably even more than his father Abraham did. So, but he was persistent and he never gave up. And the reward at the end wasn't just... A big area where he could be fruitful and successful but even more importantly an encounter with the most high God so never give up do not give in to the pressure of the storms never ever never allow anybody talk you into giving up that you let go of something does not mean internally you've given up never be afraid to start over if you need to never be afraid to get advice to seek help from legitimate spirit-led sources but you never ever give up i'm going to leave us with just two more two scriptures that i hope will encourage you this month of august psalm 62 verse 2 he only is my rock and salvation he referring to god 
he only is my rock and salvation god only is my rock and salvation god is my defense i shall not be greatly moved in this month of august do not allow anything to move you from your faith do not allow anything to diminish your hope in god do not allow anything to make you suddenly give up do not allow anything anyone any power any voice to make you give up do not be moved stand solid on the rock and the source of your salvation stand solid in your defense and no matter what happens god is going to defend you and at the end of it at the end of the story that promised ending is going to manifest in your life the lord psalm 27 the lord is my light and salvation of whom shall i fear do not fear anyone do not fear any situation do not be afraid because god is yours He's got your back. He's got it figured out. He is your light. He is your salvation. Do not be afraid. There is nobody and no situation that should make you afraid. I mean, you can feel anxiety. But fear becomes when you're stuck there and you cannot move from there. I mean, I, I feel I feel anxious and sometimes I feel fear started creeping because of certain situations. But you rebuke that thought. Do it aloud if you need to so that your spirit man hears you, not just in your thought. You rebuke that thought of fear. You rebuke every spirit of fear. You do not allow the enemy latch on to fear and take you out of your destined glory. Every time fear begins to come on, remember the Lord is your shield, is your defense, is your rock, is your salvation, is your light, is the burden bearer, is the heavy load sharer, he is the strong tower, he is the God who has never been defeated. You have never read anywhere in the Bible where God got defeated. You have never read anywhere in the Bible where God encountered a situation or one of his children encountered a situation and it did not end for good for them why we've never read it because it's never happened it will never happen there is no power greater than god there is no there is no being no situation that is greater or has the advantage over jehovah god so always remember that always keep that in mind this month of august i am praying for each and every one of us that we will go for everything you've tried to do you feel that that you feel you feel being led to do make sure you go out there and do it every project you've dropped work on it if it's education start looking again if you think oh i don't have the money well think about student loans work with a financial professional but think about a uh, 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 student loans look again for scholarships and make sure you pray and commit whatever you're doing to god's hands if it's a book go and write it if it's a job even in these tough economic times you know what start applying if no one is hiring what skills do you need i've seen a lot of places online that are offering free classes for that and free classes for that well start taking classes building up your skills building up your knowledge base for when things open back on open back up if you are if you are planning to do something and because of the current conditions you cannot go forward for example school or job or whatever well start preparing for it because things are going to go open back up and then you don't want to start scrambling oh i should have taken this test or i should have taken this class or i should know this you know invest some time in building up your skills and do not forget to enrich your relationship with god spend time in prayer spend time in the word try and read i'm working on reading i would not lie i'm working on on getting some healthy books in i've come across a few and hopefully i might do some and i post some book reviews on my blog later but um invest some time in reading something that enriches your spirit and, and makes you happy there a lot of beautiful writers out there i always um go to um bishop td jakes his books are amazing they're available on kindle and amazon you can buy paperbacks uh see, i think i've seen a couple of books of his online i listen to to things that enrich you that encourage you that motivate you that inspire you that uplift you i'm hoping as well since you're listening i'm hoping that this podcast is one of them for free to share but on youtube a lot of great men of god um that that their their sermons or their in, even their interviews just inspire me um one of one of them is of course my own pastor pastor that house of praise baltimore the services have been uploaded online on the youtube page just search for house of praise baltimore they are amazing but you have um pastor stephen fordick 
of Elevation Church. There's Pastor Michael Todd of Transformation Church. Of course, there is Bishop T.D. Jakes, his daughter Sarah Jakes Roberts. There are just a lot of them out there. Uh, there is Pastor Robert Madu. He's amazing. But sometimes when I'm just feeling confused and discombobulated and just all over the place, I'm always looking for... I have Now I've listened to enough of them that I have go to sermons on my playlist where i go and just i need to hear that word again to pick me up and keep moving so listen 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 watch read start preparing because i know greater and better is coming and as always i am looking forward to testimonies i am rooting for you i am wishing you an amazing august um i am going to constantly share encouraging words and posts I, I'm, and I'm seeing probably before the end of this month, sometime in, in the month of August, on my Facebook page, we're just going to have a session where we pray. I'll be on live. I'll be praying. And if anybody hops on, um, you know, we can share prayer requests and pray, to, pray together. You know, um, I am not going to be praying for, I'm going to be praying with. I believe in... in praying in unison or praying in unity and just depending on how the spirit of god leads there might be a man or woman of god i i introduce to just kind of help us wrap things up but i'll be towards the end of this month so if you haven't yet feel free to subscribe to my youtube page or like my facebook page or anywhere on social media the links are going to be beneath wherever it is you are listening to this podcast and so to each and every one of us i'm going to say go in peace may god's goodness may god's power may god's presence accompany us wherever we go in jesus name amen amen bless